personality when yeah. someone sees you with the flying water? Who the hell cares about personality <laughs> when you're going through a toll? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. New episode, bro. Hey guys, welcome to Bob Around the Table. This is a show where we talk about all things and everything, and we just give our thoughts and opinions on it. You know, it doesn't really matter, but we just want to talk about it. I'm joined by. Hi, I'm Kieran, the head of videos for all of us. I'm Inky. I'm just here. I'm John. I'm Neil. I'm Isa. <laughs> and my name is Mugi. Did you? Yeah. Okay, so today's topic is something that's going to be happening very soon yeah. in Malaysia, actually, starting from 2022. Why? It is, is RFID better? Then. That's happening in Malaysia? Then yeah. why? Then why? why? That's why? RFID, okay. No, what's happening no. in Malaysia? Uh, wow. yeah. Is RFID better in Malaysia? What, is, what, okay. what is better than RFID? RFID from but January. Okay. <laughs> on the 15th of January onwards, uh, everything uh, is going, they're going to slowly like mass bringing it in. Is that what they call it? Okay. Yeah, so by the end of 20... Uh, 22 and start of 2023, 60% of souls in Malaysia will have RFID. So everything. There so, isn't tuna anymore. Eh? There is. There still is. There still is. No. Oh, at is. certain oh, tolls, yeah. no, at certain tolls, you can still pay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, like oh, sometimes really? you're just like, pop out. Yeah. 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 And yeah. You can still pay oh, cash. Correct. Kirin, when you use the toll, what form of payment do you use? RFID. Well, we use money lah, obviously, right? But then RFID lah. <laughs> RFID. Nikki. Touch and go. Ooh. Yeah, I use touch and go also. Yeah. Yeah. Isa? Why are you hating on touch yeah. and go? Yeah. Because RFID is way faster, you gotta touch and go. You gotta find your card, touch and go. Why are you so mad? Just touch your no, 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 no. like that. La. What happens if you, you drop? You see, this is what happens, you know. <laughs> what happens if you drop your card? Oh my god. I, I I've thought, never dropped I my card. I've never dropped my card. I've never dropped my card, but I had to open the door and scan <laughs> because my hand too short. <laughs> the true story. Hey, have you seen those munchies or whatever they do? The fly thing. Yeah, the fly swatter. Yeah, the fly swatter. Yeah, you should get one. I you should. No, you should. I'm a short person too. No, but it lacks personality when someone sees you with the fly swatter. Who the hell cares about personality when you're going through a toll? What does RFID stand for? Radio frequency indication. Identification. Yeah, identification. Identification. So the ID. Identify. Radio frequency identification. Yeah. Alright, clap. No, okay, Singapore and Japan, they use RFID, they've been using RFID for a while now, but yeah. they are just card reader. Oh, they read a card? Okay, yeah. I know. Yes, yeah. card reader. And there's another one in Australia, they use something else, I forgot what it was. Kangaroos. Malaysia wants to start implementing this because they see how smooth the traffic is <laughs> over in those countries. That's why they want to use it. Our Ooh. traffic is smooth? No. That's no, why exactly. they're that's trying so to make it smooth. They're that's trying, to, they're make trying to make it smooth with RFID. Oh. There's a reason why it's not smooth now, you know why? Because got some clowns right still go through the RFID. RFID only got one, you know now. Yeah. So yeah. one small RFID and one, it just takes one clown to jack up the whole thing. Then you start to go lah. That's why now exactly. nice. Uh, that's why now nice to have multiple RFID counters if they're opening more RFID counters. Ah, Does it make okay, sense? It makes sense. Yeah, that's right. Touch and go. Oops. But touch and go. But touch and go has so many. Yeah. yeah. Never yeah. Every time I tag, right? Confirm can go. Okay, okay, okay. True, true, true. True. Hey, pick a side. <laughs> Now let's talk about how does RFID work. How does it work? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so radio frequency, right? You see. Yeah. So what it actually does is, it's actually like a sensor on top of the toe. Oh yeah. So what the toe does, it reads the stickers mm -hmm. from on top. It's a radio waves. But in Singapore, it's different. The reason why some Malaysians are expert in cars and stuff, they are a bit more worried of RFID because RFID is supposed to have like standardized uh, number plates as well because it can also scan the number plates. Mm. The thing is in Malaysia, if you have things, we have seen colorful, fancy number plates here and there. Some people have their own names, different fonts and stuff. Mm. They have to standardize all the fonts for the number plates. Oh, so that's the reason why Chucky okay. has always been Correct. hard recently on like Right, because it's, that's how it scans like it's an overhead uh, gantry camera that scans your sticker and also what cameras? Gantry overhead camera. gantry camera. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, let me just <laughs> keep it more simple. Uh, radio frequency, radio frequency, frequency camera. camera that uh, manages to like that sign stuff. Like y'all know how it works, okay? No. Signs, no. Uh, radio waves, <laughs> not exactly. No. <laughs> Malaysia, the government is trying to achieve sixty percent of uh, RFID usage in Malaysia uh, mm -hmm. by end of twenty twenty two. You get that? And, okay. and what are they doing yeah. to actually like help? They had the them. pilot program before, everybody was giving it up for free, now you gotta buy it, so you snooze, uh -huh. you lose. Okay, uh. no, Chop, when you said 60%, right? So the 40%, does that mean like the touch and go and the smart yeah. type will still be there? Okay, yeah, so for the other methods, this for now, they still will be working, they'll still be operational, but they will be slowly phased out. 
Slowly. Right. So like how RFID started off with just one yep. booth, and mm -hmm. then now there's okay. slowly it was gonna be reversed. Yeah, I think the first one, if I'm being honest, will be the cash. The cash, the cash yeah. one. That will be completely. Yeah. Bin. Well, if the cash is gone, it's fine. Just yeah. make sure that all tolls. Yeah, you I can actually pay there. it on yeah. the yeah. wallet. That's one another thing. Yeah, that's exactly. True, that's yeah. True. So I, I I would agree highly with that idea. Yeah. But it, it's true what she said too. She they have to face face out, but don't don't face out everything until nobody can you know, yeah, think exactly. what. Yeah. Sure. You know. So. Like I keep saying, I'm not gonna check your petrol or not. All the petrol stations. All the petrol stations. Yeah. 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 Mm. And they said that uh, this helped out in uh, Singapore a lot because you can now go through toll in 30 km per hour. Oh, that's pretty fast. Okay, see, that would make sense. Uh, getting rid of congestion. Actually, I do have a question. Yes. So let's just say if I were to transfer myself from Touch and Go to RFID, mm -hmm. can it be? Can the money from the Touch and Go yeah. be transferred to RFID? Sure. Cannot. As far as I know. That's There's no way to take out the money from your touch and go card okay, unless so you go to book in out. So for the order machine, what's okay. the point? Yeah, no. Cause yeah, cause like my mom, she always does auto what yeah, auto debit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she good. always puts hundred ringgit. Yeah. So then when she changes to RFID. A hundred ringgit, yeah. is just that. Yeah. And well, plus, you, can... you said like you have to top up the RFID on the cash and go wallet. Yeah. So why can't we just transfer that? So yeah. like, why do you have two different accounts? Yeah, actually, that doesn't make that any sense. Yeah, excuse okay. me, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why you should go to RFID now. And you, when I top up my touch and go, I do it, it's stupid. I have to do it manually. I have to go into a petrol station and top up. But I top up only like thirty ringgit at a time. Most of the time, if I cannot pass my RFID, then I go to a touch and go late. I don't have smart tech, mm -hmm. and uh, and I feel sorry for the people who bought the new cars, especially the new MyBus and everything. Yeah. Oh, the, the you know, smart tech pre installed. Yeah. The yeah. built-in smart tech and all. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I, I just heard uh, the, our sound guy swearing. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens, Boogie? What happens? But they can what happens? use it, right? What happens? Because there will still yeah. be smart tech booths. There, there will be lah, but it yeah. will eventually be phased out. But for, if you ask me, right, from the way, from the way RFID has been implemented when it started and now, that it slowly, will take a long time. Take a long time. Yeah. yeah. So people can still use the smart text as they go lah. It's a, it's a good debate because like mm. touch and go, right? Right now, if you go to any shopping malls or any places, yeah, mm. you, they have to accept you either use the like card. A... You use a scan. Eh? Yeah, touch and go yeah, yeah. app lah. Yeah, mm. that one, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Even like if you go to an MRT, yeah. you can just use yeah. touch and go. So touch and go is actually a really, it's a it's benefit. It's kind of like universal for all transportation. Yeah, right it now. is. You know what is universal though? What's more universal touch and go? Your debit card. Yeah. Or your credit card or whatever card, a bank card. That yeah. is pretty recent, right? Like yeah. to use your... And yeah, that for would be, and stuff. That would be truly universal if they actually implement that. So the next question I'm going to ask you, I think Kieran, you've been very passionate about it. You, should, you could probably answer this. It's not passionate, I'm just being realistic. What's so good about RFID? Convenient. Convenient. Mm. Convenient. That's very true. Anybody else? Anybody on side of everybody? I don't know. Because I haven't used it. I would say, I would say touch and go is convenient too. But yeah. there, there, there's more positives on RFID currently than, than touch and go. And with this implementation coming in, RFID means really Correct. Alright. Maybe I've got for him lah because he mainly drives. He don't really take public transportation. Yeah, ah yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. take public I've got official forecasted results of using RFID. Using RFID is able to clear a thousand vehicles per hour, as opposed to smart tech and touch and go, we can. Oh, like, where do you get this podcast from? Our actual news articles. Okay. Actual news articles from the government. Oh. I did my fact checks and everything, okay? Okay. RFID is able to clear a thousand vehicles per hour, as opposed to smart tech and touch and go, we okay. can, which can only clear about 500 vehicles. Uh, double. So okay. you can double the amount. Forecasted! Not Forecasted. sure yet. Jumping on to your points earlier about topping up, uh, top up stuff. RFID provides an easier option because the top up can be done on smartphones, either using a debit card or credit card, or online banking. Yep. It can okay. also be a direct top up feature using e-wallet. But you want to do the fastest way? Don't, don't top up with your bank account because you got a key in your password. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just, yeah. Just That'll take like five minutes, man. Card, because even if you top up your card, you still need to put in your password there. Yeah. Then the your CAC. Yes. True. Strategies in the yeah, so basically the biggest selling point of this RFID is that no more jams. Ah, no, I wouldn't say no more jams, but lesser jams, lesser congestions easier on the road. Love, yeah, easier. Easy. Okay, what do you think are the cons of RFID? I don't know because yeah, I haven't tried it. Okay. Maybe like tampal the things inside. I don't know. <laughs> From the website, I got one of the cons. Of this. It is unfair and not practical to us, uh, the entire peninsula of Malaysia, to adapt RFID yeah. since not everyone will be using the highway every day. True. Especially like for people who like travel from Muang 
Okay, so if you're not using, yeah. actually it's pretty simple. If you're not using the highway, right? Then don't carry my dinner. Right? Unless you are you are a very regular driver. Yeah. 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 If it's like, like somebody here. like me, if I sometimes take public transportation, then I will still stick to touch and go. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah. But you don't know your your our IDs are also touch and go when we go, right? Yeah. 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 I actually touch and go when we go as well. But the problem with that is if something happens to your IC and you cannot work anymore. Yeah. And you kind of need to like update And when you change your IC, your when you update your IC, your credit don't transfer Yeah, don't transfer mm. You have really? to go and, yeah. yeah, that's why there's, there's, there's a very tedious process where you have to go and request for them to transfer it to a different card I got no time card. for that, yeah. sorry No, 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 it's not, you got no time for that I don't want it to do it It takes too long yeah. It takes too long yeah. to do it, yeah It takes too long just to transfer like what I need to do It's okay It's okay That's why I said it's okay It's okay It's okay Ringgit, you fight for that. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It's still my <laughs> money. Five ringgit. That is a real militia, you know. You pay ten ringgit, fucking go there, just for your five ringgit back. <laughs> <laughs> that's investment right there, bro. <laughs> investment advice. That's true. That's true. That's true. Financial advice. Malaysians do that, though. Yeah. Okay, money is still money. Money. Even if you're losing it, it's still money, it's still money. <laughs> but RFID nice. is also buy touch and go. Yeah. 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 Um, the system is not, but they brought it in. Yep. So that's like a little bit of a worry, but the thing is, I'm not sure whether touch and go is under the government, right? Is it? It's under the government, right? Maybe they're working with them. I don't know. Yeah, possibly lah. Because then if there's no other, there's so many other e, -wa e wallet uh, providers out there, mm. but there's no other like payment method for that for specific. Yeah. 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 They could have gone for another e wallet to start this RFID thing, for example, but they didn't. So they went with touch and go, obviously. Yeah. I mean, but it's okay lah because we all have touch and go. For yeah. me, like I think it's convenient. If I have to make another account or whatever, it takes like a lot more. True. Like, like, time. Sorry. I don't want to do that. True. So I think I a, no time. <laughs> a reason why a lot of people are very like they don't really like this RFID thing is because they think it's too much of a hassle. Yeah, Some I people think, think it's like hmm. they're so used to with uh, smart tag and touch and go. So when yeah. something new comes in, they're a bit. No, hesitant. they're just like in their comfort yeah. zone. People yeah. are just skeptical because yeah. they don't know. Because how it people works. say the same thing uh, when they were using cash. They say the same thing about uh, touch and go and smart tag. Yeah. They say like ah, this thing is gonna cause more problem, make everything longer. You basically, just describe my parents. So yeah. <laughs> so it's just basically every time something new comes in. Yeah. We are like early adapters or something, we just need time to it adapt. It takes a while. Yeah, it takes a while. It's almost yeah. three years. I mean, the reason yeah. why I got RFID in the first place is after I heard the news. So I was like, oh, right. Why okay. did you hear? The, the fact because that. Because someone you knew, you know. No, wow. because of oh. the implementation. The implementation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't implement it, you're going to summon you. No, 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 no. No, no. no, no I mean, that, that's entirely your choice. Yeah. But eventually, you're going to have to go there. Exactly. Yeah, but so they won't force you. Won't. It's just that you will be forced to do it. Yeah. Right? yeah. Slowly. Slowly. Yeah. yeah. And every single time whenever I'm with my friends and I just go and touch and go, they're just like, ah, oh, why are you in this lane? Why can't you get this? I one like lane? opening my, my window. Like, okay. I like the extra. I was like, I like. I don't. I'm just like spending time with you. Yeah. Just let me be. Last time, last time we go to tonight, you just open your window like, hey. Yeah. At least I can talk to someone. Yeah. You know. You guys are watching this video, watch out for this face. I think we've spoken a lot about yeah. it. So let's come to the final decision of you guys. Is RFID better? Yes, and uh, those who are or a bit afraid to move on to mm. new technologies, I think you should because you started with cash and then now you've got credit cards and everything. Yeah. So it's, it's just a matter of using it once, twice and getting used to it. Yeah. Sure. Mm. For me, using Touch and Go to move to RFID is easier mm. because it's more of an upgrade mm. yeah. than compared to somebody already using Smart Tech and yeah. jumping to RFID because the, the difference is... Similar system, yeah. it's just a different platform. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. for I think it's harder for people who are already using Smart Invested Tech, in smart tech mm. yeah, to, to jump to RFID. But there's no loss there, your card still retains value, you can still use your card. But your device, uh, <coughs> because the, device, the Smart yeah. Tech device is not cheap. So yeah, 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 true. Yeah. true. So second hand, people are still using Touch and Go. Right? But if they are phasing out, the value will be there, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, I think we've talked a lot about RFID, and I think, I know, hopefully, we've provided some kind of knowledge to the viewers as yeah. well. Once again, we're not advocating RFID, we're not saying it's bad, we're not saying it's good, we're just giving our thoughts and opinions. Our thoughts and opinions are not the most absolute ones as well. Yeah. Feel free to comment what you think is RFID better in the comments below. Yeah. Once again, this has been Warp Around the Table. My name is Boogie. I'm Nikki. <laughs> And this is Warp Around the Table. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to 
Like, share, and subscribe to World of Buzz. Bye! Bye.